What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Wayne6578, bringing you guys something different. No video game play, we're gonna be showing you how I make these pirate steak sandwiches. Shout out to barbecuepitboys.com. Anyway, let's check out these ingredients. We got this boneless rib eye roast. We got two and a half pounds, man. I'm just making these sandwiches for me and my girl, so we're gonna have uh, some leftovers. I got some garlic cloves. I got some of that good brown sugar. I got some of this spice rum. You can do any spice rum you want. We like the Sailor Jerry spice rum. Get for drinking. I got some Kikiman soy sauce. Also got some of that cayenne pepper. And we got some orange juice. And we got these nice bread rolls or sandwich rolls or whatever. It's gonna be whatever we want rolls. All right. I think it's gonna be harder. Yeah, it's gonna be harder than you thought. If only I wasn't scared of the mandolin. Uh, should we cut this off? No, it'll keep it together. It yeah, keeps it together. I'm just saying. Oh. We'll trim it. You wanna trim that first? Slice it. Oh, because oh, that makes everything taste better. Don't listen to these skinny people. That's what the barbecue pit boys talk about. They say they're gluten free, made for vegetarians or vegans. Them vegematics. If you're healthy, you need to turn. Okay, now we're gonna start to put it in here. We gotta marinate this for two hours. So we got our meat all chopped up for these pirate steaks. If you ain't never had pirate steak sandwiches, you need to try them. They are good. Cause we ain't had them either, but we got ready to try them. Okay, first of all, we add them to the Ziploc bag. And that's our boneless ribeye roast slice. Okay. That's how you add it. Yeah. Now we got brown sugar. We have how much is this? Oh, we have one and a half tablespoons. One and a half tablespoons. We cut this down for half the amount that it was allotted for. Okay, we have our cayenne pepper, which is how much cayenne pepper we got here? We have a, like, oh, a quarter of a teaspoon because, like I said, we're cutting this down in half. Gotta get all that cayenne pepper out of there. Plus a little extra because we like it a little bit spicier. Don't shit. Don't put your fingers in yet. Then we have our garlic cloves, which are crushed. And so we use about two, like one and a half. We use one and a smaller one because you're supposed to use three. Which we did forget to mention in the measurements. Crack pepper. How much crack pepper corn got? I think this one is a half a teaspoon. Yes, half a teaspoon of crack pepper corn. Then we have a we have a half a cup of orange juice. We put a little bit more in there. Just a little bit more in there. Not much. Uh -huh. Then we have our soy sauce, which, which is, is a quarter is cup of soy sauce. Quarter cup of soy sauce. When you guys see this restaurant on Barbecue Pit Boys, they have it where like double the amount. Yeah, we're, making, we're not making that much. We're yeah, it's just the two of us. Just the two of us. <laughs> Then we got the best part of it all. We got the spiced rum. And it's a quarter cup? Yes, yeah, a quarter cup. Okay. Add this in here. Carefully, let's not spill the booze. Since we're adding rum to it, we're gonna do some shots, 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 shots. 
Wait, okay, let's take a picture. I need your hand out the way. Go Bears, the Bears. Mm. <sighs> a marinade where you can just dump it all in a bag and eat it. Now we gotta do is just get it all in here. Get it all around. Yeah, and shake it. <laughs> Somebody's in the sauce. You put it. <laughs> okay, that's not the way it's supposed to go. Okay. This one. Mm -hmm. Leave the end open. Remember to always let the air out. I believe they say it's better. They have those machines where you want to marinate something that you can suck all the air out. It helps to marinate faster. That's what we have. We're going to put this in the refrigerator for two hours. And we'll probably flip it in between just, you know, make sure everything gets covered. It's the Pam grilling. Fall through the grates. Now these are disposable. For when you don't care, you got a lot of people. Sizzle. Looks kind of like a horror movie if you think about it. But you know. Thank you, cow. Too bad Black Chaos couldn't be up here for this. <laughs> but oh well, we'll tell them how it is. <laughs> and this is what? A third barbecue pit boys recipe we've tried? We did the burgers. So this is not French bread like the barbecue pit boys appear to have, but we found these buns at the grocery store and they look really good and they smell really good. So we're just gonna butter them. I melted the butter really quick. Yes, indeed. You know, okay. hence the spread. Oh, that smells amazing. Like amazing balls. It's nice and quick too. All right, we're putting our buns. I didn't open, cut them all the way open because I kind of don't like my meat to fall out the other side, but you slice it enough and press it down. All right, and we're taking our, yeah, that's done. All right. Took the one of the buns off, loading it with some meat. A lot of meat. We are gonna be full. And there's one down. Hey, six five seven eight is loading it up. Wayne six Wayne six five seven eight. Sorry. And then for us, we're melting provolone cheese on top. And we're gonna let that sit and marinate and melt. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm.
Got a little sweet potato fries here. Finally got this. Let's see how it tastes. That is good. 